After a full day of Rat Temple fun, I was ready to find my way to my next destination. So I climbed atop a bus and roof surfed through the Rajasthani desert to the nearby city of Bikaner, hoping to find a way north. But it turns out Bikaner had other things in store for me. Beacon Air, the 8 p.m. bus to Delhi, and the 8 p.m. train to Delhi. Either way, I had some time to kill, so I decided to try and knock Bring Joy to Child Laborers off my list of missions. It proved pretty difficult, though, since none of the restaurants would let us inside. Luckily, a friendly local explained why. They were there, actually, they belong to low caste, that's why. They can't come in because they're in a low caste? Yeah. No, sir. That is not reason. What is the reason? Okay, I can't explain for you. You don't explain for me? That's not very cool, man. That's not cool at all. My translator's name was Saddam Hussein, which I initially thought was a joke. It turns out he's a research assistant for the author of a book about India and thought it would be fun to be an assistant on a podcast on the same subject. So he offered to show me around. I will show you all of the old city. Okay. In our city that you see this one, this is the first, uh, first gate of old city. In our old city, we have a seven gate. We ran out of time before getting to all seven of the wonders of Beacon Air, but just as I was ready to leave, Saddam told me about his hobby of miniature painting. I then had to choose between making my bust or checking learn a new style of drawing off my list. I'm learning in this, in this studio. He's my master. So you're the master? I'm also learning actually. We use this kind of press. They're very soft hair from a squirrel. And the colors we use the natural stone and vegetable color. Very fine little just stroke in here. This painting size of postage stamp. Some painting paint the size of the one rupee coins. Even I proclaim my two paintings in the Guinness World of the Record book. And these are very small sizes, 3.5 into 5 centimeter. Can you put your hand in here? Yeah. I show a little drawing. Now that I had another day in Rajasthan, I asked my new research assistant if he'd spend the next day helping me check things off my list, and I ended up discovering my own seven wonders of Beacon Air. This is uh, the list of missions, the things that I have to do while I'm on my trip. You already helped me learn a different style of drawing, so I got a few things that I need to do, so if you can help me do any of these today. Let's do it. Can I ask your ages? 77. 74. 85. 85. The biggest question is, what is the secret of happiness? The grand the gods. Reading the religious books and praying to the God. Okay. Just to pass the, our time uh, with joy. Saying when he was young, he was more happy. I was the happy when I fulfilled all the responsibilities from my life, and I free. Uh, I feel free. When was the happiest moment of your life? Oh, when he was so happy. When he was so young. Uh, but he said that when our neighborhood is happy, we are more happy. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone.
Oh, just have that baby. Just have that baby. There's all kinds of excitement outside. They're not coming. <laughs> How do you induce pregnancy? <laughs> How did you get the uh, the things that you took, the money and the jewelry? How did you get it? In the night time, it will be like a take to the uh, is beat someone in the night time. No, just only dark there, nobody there. How many years did you do that? Three years. Three years. Did you make more money as a uh, as a thief or as a tuk tuk driver? Okay, no. Do you think you would ever go back to doing that? No. no? For someone like me, a foreigner, is it safe for me to travel around alone? The people are changing now. Okay. Change. Change. Is it because their people's ideas change or because they're able to make more money now? They say both things. If you start earning more money, will you stop stealing petrol? Oh, really? <laughs> so it goes back generations. Ah, Your father's <laughs> 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 Your father, your grandfather. Oh, I'm gonna see it being alone. He wants to make it a family tradition. Oh, he wants to make it a family tradition. <laughs> My name is Ryan. Ryan, my name is Suraj. Hi, Suraj. Yes. So, do you shine shoes every day? Yes. Tomorrow you... I cannot come because the police is beating me. Oh. It's a problem. The police are beating you? Why? Are you saying why are you shining? Don't you shining? What about the rest of your family? Do they shine shoes also? My family? Yeah. They're not shining. They're just sitting in the masala. Somebody coming, they're asking some money. So okay. One rupees, two rupees. My father is also. They doesn't have eyes. My mother also doesn't have eyes. Oh, so your your father can't see and your mother can't see. No. That's why you're the one that's working. Yes. Can you help me? What, what are you looking for? Whoa! Washing powder. Can you help you? This will last for twenty days. This is salt. Mm. Wooden some milk. Okay, where is the sugar? So now we have sugar and rice and oil and tea. Okay. That was a lot to carry. Yes. Good thing we're so strong, huh? Are you very strong? I'm strong. Let's see, let's see right now. Let's, let's arm wrestle. <laughs> He's just joking. He's just joking. I'm winning, I'm winning, I'm winning. Oh, you're, oh. oh, you're too strong for me. No, you're just joking. No, that's why you carried all these bags and I just carried one. Okay. Because you're, you're so strong. <laughs> you're just joking. I'm scared of you now. I don't want you to beat me up. <laughs> So, to make money, you shine shoes. What do you do for fun? Fun? Yeah, what is fun? Fun, I don't know. You don't know what is fun? Nothing is fun? Yes, too. What? Some shoe shining, some uh, little bit begging. That's fun? Yeah. Want me to teach you some games? Yeah. You know the rock? You know like that? How do you play the rock game? Oh, and I put it on your head? You can bounce it up there? Whoa, and you can do a little hula while you're at it. Look at you. 
What is, is this a little special race dance that you do? Yeah. yeah. this whole mountain all by yourself every day. We went shopping. This is your grandmother? Okay, this is your family? Not the old. What is this? Oh! So why aren't you staying at your house tonight? Not staying today. Why? Because there is a police that coming. Police is coming for louder salad. They making police company. They making house. A uh, company is making a house there, uh, where you're where you were living. Uh, uh, um, there is a ground, big one. They're making all in there, all on some house, some company. They're making like that. They're putting car, they're putting boat, motorcycle. So they so they said you have to go. Yeah. So where are you going? The true meaning of life. We are visitors on this planet. We are here for 90 or 100 years at the very most. During that period, we must try to do something good, something useful with our lives. If you contribute to other people's happiness, you will find the true goal, the true meaning of life. His Holiness, the 14th Dalai Lama. Thank you. I know it's cheesy to claim to have found the meaning of life on the wall of a noodle restaurant, but I don't think you could say it any better than that. Plus, I think it cut me a little slack considering where I am. about this trip, my favorite is one from Gary Troon. He says, do something for the Tibetan refugees in Dharmasala. Send me some pictures from there. The Dalai Lama is quite a humanitarian and is seeking a non-violent solution with the Chinese despite unspeakable atrocities committed on his people. I just had a heart attack and will probably never realize my dreams of traveling to that part of the world and investigating all things Buddhist. Unfortunately, the only contact I had with the Orient was in Vietnam. So that's why I'm here in Dharmashala, right outside the Dalai Lama's private residence, to find out more about what's going on here and how I can help.
Wuchu Som Movement of Tibet is an association of ex-political prisoners which runs an English course for former political prisoners and their family members. We need English conversation partners. You didn't get any opportunity to study when we was in Tibet. My favorite blank is blank. My favorite... This is what we're going to practice right now. Practice favorite singers. Who's your favorite singer? Jackson. Oh, Michael Jackson? Mm. My favorite singer is... Yeah. Why do you like Eminem? I like dancing. Okay. So why you like it just because of the beat? Mm. <laughs> you, dance, you can dance to it? Come on, non violence people. <laughs> no. Non violence. What would the Dalai Lama say if he saw this? Oh yeah. <laughs> If you're going to threaten to hit him, you have to threaten to hit him in English, because it's English study. So, do it properly. You want to kill me? Yeah. How do you kill me? <laughs> we Tibetan peoples are peaceful people. Yes. So how do you, how do you use <laughs> violence? Peaceful, you Especially you are a girl. <laughs> <laughs> we need to find uh, a non-violent solution to, to yes. this problem. I'm, I cannot find fight with you. Why? Because we Tibetan peoples are not fighting. If we are, if we are fight, we are, we are fighting with China. We want a feast. So this is the samba. Yes, this is called samba. And this is what you you ate when you crossed the Himalayas. Yes, when we are across Himalayas, check this samba. It's very strong. Can I try? Yes, of course you have to try. Okay, I have yeah. to. I don't have a choice. <laughs> <laughs> it is not boiled, not cooked. It tastes like flour. So now that you're in Dharamshala, did you try all the other foods they have? It's actually, it's very uh, expensive. Okay. Actually, we, we are citizen, we are not, not used much to restraint. We Do you want to go now? Unfortunately, I found out that the road to do that has been closed with snow since October. Uh, but I've been told to take a series of buses that will get me into Kashmir in about two days. Apparently there was a landslide in the middle of the night, now this road is closed. They warned me that if something like this happened, we might have to stop overnight. It didn't occur to me that they meant the bus would just pull over to gas station and not move for 13 hours. Okay, so I'm not entirely sure what happened last night. The bus arrived. 
I wasn't seeing straight, I was sick, I was just ready to find the cheapest hotel I could and just crash and die until the next morning before I could figure out where I am. And then this guy came and he offered me to, to take me to his houseboat and fix me some tea and let me sit by the fire until I, I got my wits about me. And he brought me here and before I knew it he had me in his pajamas, sitting by the fire, he got me drinking tea and I didn't even drink tea. I just booked myself on a package tour. And there's only two things on this earth that I'm afraid of, and one of them is package tours. Uh, Kashmir, excuse me sir, before 15 years, lot of tourists coming in Kashmir. 15 years, problem in Kashmir, the Kashmiri people want freedom here, because uh, Kashmiri freedom fighter here. Uh, situation going very, very badly because no business. I could probably walk in about a month and a half. Put all my stuff back in the house. Apparently the road only goes one way per day. It went up the day that I came. It went down yesterday. But uh, because of the holidays that are coming up, it's going to be going up for the next two days, which is when my vacation is over. Uh, but this dude's going to give it a shot. These soldiers are yelling at us for trying to drive with a broken door, and the driver's trying to explain to them that it's their fellow soldiers that did it.